All right, guys, welcome along. We are starting a brand new playthrough in the form of Tunic, which was donated to us back in May by LB. Thank you very much, LB. The game itself has only been released, uh, it only came out this year, around about March the 16th, I believe. Don't really know anything about it, and um, it's kind of how I like to approach games now, just like completely blind as I feel like that gives like the best experience um, to do with the game. Obviously, wasn't sure we, how uh, Stray was all about, which uh, we thoroughly enjoyed our playthrough of that, which now is completely done. Just for anybody that didn't know, we just off camera, we finished up the last of the achievements. So we have uh, completely finished Stray now, including the speedrun trophy as well. But um, yeah, we're going to jump into uh, Tunic here and um, take a look. Twitch has labeled it as an action adventure game. So, um, yeah, really excited to see what comes of it. But so uh, without further ado, let us begin. I'm not sure about whether or not it's going to be best to play it on keyboard, a mouse, or if it's better to be played on a controller. But um, I guess we will see real soon. All right, so we are playing as a fox. Already, I like the, uh, the, the vibe of the soundtrack as well. It's uh, pretty nice. Okay, so we can walk through trees. It's good to note. Can tilt the camera by the looks of it. Have a tab screen, which is menus. Looks like we're going to have some abilities. Okay, so I don't even think we're going to need the mouse here, are we? Okay, so it's going to be a... Looking at the tab screen, it's going to be a two two-handed on the keyboard kind of game which is fine it's kind of looks like a big button the minute we uh, are not able to use the button so I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be or is it for we have a mailbox which we cannot open I guess the flag's not up so I guess that means that there's no... Oh, there is. Hold on. What key is that? Uh, okay. Uh, what key is that? I don't know what key that is. That shift? Control? Alt? Seriously, what, what key is that? Okay, so shift allows us to focus on enemies by the looks of it, which is fine. Well, it's definitely not going to be the Windows key, is it? I genuinely don't know what key that is. I'm looking at my keyboard, I think I should know what this key is. Walk in here instead for now. It's spacebar. What a dummy. <laughs> All right. We have got a stick. Can we equip said stick? We can. Okay. All right, so this is quite reminiscent of Zelda in a way. Especially the original ones where you have, it looks like we're going to have different weapons and different abilities. And we're going to have to um, switch things. Interesting. Not quite sure what that says, but. It will do things and stuff. a key for there. Hero's Grave. That's our first. I guess like sh the, the shift thing, I guess it kind of like lets us focus on an enemy. When we're uh, moving around, I guess. 
Okay. Let's um onwards. if we could like push these but it does not like they are movable not sure what we need to do with those at the moment oh he's got a an interesting move wasn't he Down. I wonder if, like, in time, we're going to be able to, like, unlock the language in a way. Be able to, like, read and understand what those uh, symbols and bits and pieces mean. But, uh, first impressions, the, um, the soundtrack is amazing. I quite like the simplicity of like the gameplay as well. More like, like, like a, like I say, it's like a classic, almost like a classic Zelda-esque kind of game. Okay, I guess that's like a, like a save spot such, but like a regenerator help and stuff. This is interesting as well, like the fact that there's a stair here maybe indicates to me that we're going to be able to move those things at some point so we should probably keep that in mind we've got the key might be the hero key that we're looking for to access the hero area uh, this looks like some sort of fortress perhaps which um if I had to guess, we're probably a bit ill-prepared to tackle at the minute. But we'll see. Ah, we can do a forward roll as well. That's interesting. So, yeah, almost a bit like, again, refer referencing back to Zelda. We have, like, the green bar, which is almost like a, an ability bar. In Zelda, it was more... Uh, the green bar was like a magic bar. Interestingly as well, like thinking about the name and like the colour of the, the tunic that the fox is wearing, it is almost like a reference to Link in the Legend of Zelda. Just in fox form. These almost look a bit like tuning forks. Okay. Just gonna walk the invisible path, right? Towards the black hole looking thing? I'm sure it's safe. I'm sure it's safe. So this fox kind of looks a bit like it's trapped, which is interesting.
Again, you kind of like have three elements, like three colors. Is that like a reference to Triforce? I do get the impression that there are some real big uh, my hands off the keyboards. I can't stun lock them. That's interesting. Good to know. Yeah, three three colors is that like a triforce reference i do kind of get the, the impression it's very heavily inspired by like a first glance at least getting your adventure ring in the east bell In the West Bell. In the far off land, a great treasure was sealed away forever. Some say it's power. It is the power, sorry, to defy death. Game screen. So okay, so this is a bit of a explains what everything is. So the, the green is stamina, which we thought I thought anyway, and the blue is the magic points. Uh there's treasure. Uh that's an unknown. I think that's like a button or something. It says our equipment, magic potions. Focus preview, yep. Stamina points. Everything hurts way more when I'm tired. Okay, so if we've got no stamina, then we'll probably we'll be taking more damage then I guess. Okay. So however we've only got Okay, so I, I'm guessing we're gonna like uncover more of the manual as we go along, which is interesting. It's almost like it's almost like this is like a bit of a of like a walkthrough guide sort of thing you'd get way back in uh, in the olden days. Hey, this treasure chest is empty. before is can we like stamina into these guess not but yeah there's gonna be a, some there's gonna be a way that we can get around those clearly there are things that we be able to do but ah, there's a lot here I missed this before I say it's not like we can do anything else here at the moment I wonder if like we have to find almost parts of the manual to be able to decode different bits and pieces. An interesting way to play the game. I think we got some magic there, although I'm not sure we can use magic at the minute. bit uh, redundant. East Forest. The East Bell Tower. So we've got more of the uh, manual to take a look at here.
Okay, so this is our controls. I think they were intending you to play this on uh, a controller. I'm not sure. Um, yep, yep. Shield. I don't have a shield yet. We have uh, shield and a potion, if we have potions on P. It's those four keys there. And... Now, what we can do is like a rolling attack. So if we hold stamina button, looks like we can do a, a rolling attack. Looking at this this one here. Okay. How? Maybe we can't do it with the stick because uh, I'm holding the key there. It's not doing a lot. Also, we can't get back now. Fantastic. I quite like the little detail as well that um got here where like some of the chests have been opened by previous previous explorers, previous adventurers. These things look pretty dangerous to be honest. Somebody down the well. They look like they can be stun locked as, as well as these things, so I have to be very careful of those because they look like their electric attack is quite dangerous. Alright. Hero's Grave. I have a hunch that maybe at the hero's grave we're going to find a, a proper sword of some description. This be hero's grave? Sure, if that is a weapon or a health item, let's go exploring nonetheless. Lower forest. When I can look at them spiders, I will be completely honest. I think I will regret coming down here. This was, um, this is maybe an area for when I'm a little bit more, um, leveled up. One back here. I'll say I'm back here, it's like a little bit different, isn't it? The whole place is a bit destroyed here. You know, I said something about mortal mortality, didn't it? So I dare say. Yeah, what just happened? So hold shift so we can do space to focus and evade or we can do the shield to focus and block. We don't have a shield yet so we can't do that. 
can't always attack even without stamina. Okay, so there's a moment where you can actually, there's a moment of invulnerability, like when we're doing a, um, like a roll or an evade. And stability. Flinch. Knocked over. And something about 25% HP. I guess, um, one's a little less, um, useful at that range. Now, I think I'm going to leave the lower forest for the time being. I think we just got absolutely rinsed down there. Where is Grey, though? So this is this way. Go and uh, see if we can't find something at the hero's grave. After hero's grave. Oh man. All my things that I lose. Didn't die. Well, I'm almost dead. The thing is, if I go down there, then the enemies are going to respawn. Like, oh, actually, I can't go any further this way. So I'm feeling like, although I like punched above my weight, I, well, I was punching above my weight a little bit there. Maybe shouldn't be like taking on these enemies until I've got bit of a better weapon to fight with, perhaps. Right, well, I can't go this way. So maybe we do need to go down to the hero's path. Try a bit more. Oh wow, I can get my coins back if I do that. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. If we go back to our ghost, we can get our uh, coins back that we may have lost. Okay, and that was a health. The, the berries are health, so... Excellent, there we go. Um, well, I guess there's only one way to go here. sprint in this game. It's uh, too much stray from earlier on. Alright, I guess though I've got to take on this dude over here. I've only got like one with the health left. trying to like roll out the way I, i'll be honest i don't know if i'm liking these um rolls. let me um don't feel like this is the sort of game that i can play on the keyboard so But 
does that break things? Hold on. Okay, let's, um, let's see how we get on here. So, X is the evade, square is attack. get there in a minute. Just gives us a little bit of time to adapt. See, the, that like manual that we, the page of the manual we got said something about um, like holding the holding the Dodge button. See, it said like hold the dodge button, and you can do like an attack, right? There's a way. Okay, there's no way to. There we go. Instruction booklet. Like. You see, so you press it. Unless you do that, and then you hold the and hold, maybe it's I don't know. The thing about like going back there and like regenerating my health is that I think that respawns the enemies, doesn't it? Absolutely obliterated in this game. This is very good, yeah. Oh, interesting. Hold on. That's interesting. So, these things can destroy those blocks we can't get past. That's interesting to note. Well, we just look to for the time being. I bet we just have to evade, he says, and then he goes in like full frontal attack is not playing it. Oh, we fell off the ledge. Hmm. 
lose no health for that. Hey, we got the sword. A sword, huzzah. Definitely equipping that. Hey, and now we can, okay, so now. We can cut the grass, we can cut through these other trees or bushes, whatever they are. Okay. Now we can start to get somewhere. Hopefully. Money. Okay, so we can't. Um, So that makes things a bit easier now. We can get rid of these guys with like two shots, so thankfully. The sword is better than the stick, unsurprisingly. Okay, quick health regen. Let's go and um, now we have the sword. Let's go and have a look to see if we can get past this lower area again now that we struggled to get past before with these spiders. May once again get absolutely obliterated here, but. Three hits and they're dead. Oh, but they hit hard. They hit hard. <laughs> okay. Note taken. This is a game called Tunic. Just set myself on fire. Fantastic. Good job. This is another way to like the lower forest, maybe. The best way I can describe it at the minute is a bit like a Zelda game. A bit like Zelda. My first impressions, and yes, it is my game. Donated by LB. Secrets. Who's all a potion? And when I say it's a bit like Zelda, I mean like the original early Zelda. Spiders into like the hunting packs. And we're dead. No, 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 not like Breath of the Wild. I mean, like the original kind of Zelda. Oh, 
I was trying to stay away from the spiders this time. Also try not to uh, kill ourselves with a bomb. Trying to blow up a area that you clearly can't blow up. Sure, that's doing. the kill. Ah, I'm in the fire again. Yikes, them spiders hit hard. Really hard. Entirely sure in it, the purpose of the lower forest areas. So it uses stamina. number one. Broken thing. I wonder if that's a bit like a uh, heart piece maybe. Potion. Right bumper. I thought that was a way that I could go down there, but I guess not. And we can't go through there.
Because the enemies don't respawn every time like, you go into an area, only when you die. Which is quite nice. Like a little hidden area. I assume that was health anyway. I also just destroyed the sign. So that's like kind of another very similar thing to Zelda, isn't it? Destroy the signs in Zelda. Where I came from, isn't it? Yeah, that's where I came from. Okay. A little bit turned around. Haven't been. Haven't been onto like that area where that those three dudes are there. So we need to try and find a way over to there, I guess. This guy looks scary. Don't die against like the. <laughs> Don't go die against the little dude. That would have been embarrassing. You take down like the big strong guy. Hey, we got another potion. Excellent. the way through there but there is it looks a bit interesting these guys okay I wasn't even sure if I was finished there hidden paths everywhere Be observant Like a slingshot?
No, I guess not. not. Sure, what that is. I can't go any further this way. No way I'd like to get down either, so, okay. Oh, 